Well, she prepares for her new TV show as she would for a jury trial. Nancy Grace leads a show called Crime Feed, dissecting mystery and murder headlines across the country. Now, one case that is featured is the case of Shanquilla Robinson. Now, I caught up with Grace to find out her thoughts on the case of justice for Shanquilla. And a warning, some viewers may find some of the footage around this case disturbing. She goes on an all-girls trip to a luxury resort near Cabo with her friends and her friends post vid or leak video of her getting a horrible beating and they're the ones doing it. Then they all come back to the U.S. No justice and Shanquilla is dead. Just 25 years old, Lawrence, 25, she's a baby and there's been no justice for this girl. And I want justice. You know, being here in Charlotte, that is a huge story here uh, because it hits so close to home. Uh, you know, what, what really is interesting is that the fact that first it was, you know, the cause of death, uh, you know, was first alcohol poisoning. Then it was switched uh, because of the BS. severe. BS. Right. And, and it was switched to the severe spinal cord uh, injury. Uh, and then the video leaks. So the fact that that video is out there, why has there not been anyone held accountable? Because it does show, you know, obviously, a fight between two people. There's a little known statute where a person can be tried in the States when a U.S. citizen is killed by a U.S. citizen in another country. It's very rare because the states seemingly don't have subject matter jurisdiction. However, there's got to be a way, either find a way to try it here or get these women extradited back to Mexico for a trial. Now there they call it femicide, which is the homicide, the murder of a woman. I speak again to Shanquilla's mother and the family lawyer. I have spoken with her sister. They are heartbroken. Listen, I'm a crime victim myself. My fiance was murdered shortly before our wedding. And until you get justice, you can't grieve. You can't move on with your life. The mother is stuck in time until justice has been sought. And you speak with passion, and, and you know that's something that uh, I, I've always admired about you, and I'm sure everyone that tunes in to your programs. Uh, when it comes to, to, to Shanquilla and her family seeking that closure, uh, obviously there's still a ton of question marks. The law system, obviously, I want to say almost kind of flawed in this sense where there's two different entities, you know, the United States versus Mexico. Um, what, what advice or, or what, when you did have those interviews, um, what did you tell them that, that, that they can hold to heart? Well, for one thing, you can never give up. You can never get up. And her case is no important than any other case. And those cases are no important than her case. But this is what I've learned. Do not go silently into the light, into the night. If you got to go down, you go down fighting. You go down screaming, kicking, clawing. The family cannot stop making noise, complaining, going to the White House, protesting, or Shanquilla will be forgotten by many. We cannot let that happen, especially in your neck of the woods. This is in your backyard. There we go. Well, Crime Feed airs every Wednesday night on Discovery Plus. Now, Grace award-winning journalist Mara S. Campo and former police sergeant and private investigator Derek Lavasor evaluate each story, weighing in on everything from the legal and police proceedings to the forensics in the investigation. So really great to talk to her and see exactly what she had to say about the case. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, and what she said about the families need to keep pushing. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of times when this happens, big events in the news happen and they mm -hmm. kind of overshadow something like this. So it is really important that, you know, not only the families keep pushing, but also the communities as well. Yes. All right, coming up next, a delivery driver makes the drop, but then doubles back. Right, what a porch camera caught him doing when he returned to the house and the trouble he's caused the intended customer. WCCB and the Salvation Army want to brighten the holidays for families in need, and you can help. Scan here to go to the virtual angel tree at WCCBCharlotte.com. Adopt an angel and help a child in need this holiday season. Special thanks to our generous sponsors, Acosta Heating, Cooling, and Electrical, Queen City Audio, Video, and Appliances, Cool Renewal Spa, and Blue Cross Blue Shield of North Carolina. Share the joy of Christmas. Support